Hi, this is James Gardner, the Cine Tech Geek, and today we're going to talk about Cinema Equipment Version Control. In this case, using a nice little network tool called NMAP. Basically, it's a, a common network tool used to map out uh, a network and what's going on on that network. In this case, um, these, this, this video is about a product or an open source tool that's available on GitHub under, underneath my um, GitHub ID that allows you to use NMAP to map out a cinema network. Not only do you get exactly what equipment is on what IP address, but you get what type of equipment and the version of the software running on that equipment. So why is this important? Well, you know there's a lot of effort in the industry to ensure there's no dark screens. And as we're going through more hardware iterations, as for example, your Series 1 projectors are now becoming obsolete, and our Series 2 are starting to also reach the end of life, we're getting new versions, you know, because every, every 10 years, obviously, by the time you need to buy a new projector, there's a completely new model and technology type like for example if you bought a projector today it's most likely a laser projector while the original all the original series 2 projectors were good old xeon lamp based but with all this bits of equipment you know there's lots of different versions and there's a you know the different permutations of all the different versions of equipment you could have and potentially bugs on one equipment with this equipment etc so it's really good to know what versions you're running and to be able to map that out. So if there is an, if, if the industry does or the vendor does identify an incompatibility with some other equipment of, of a specific version, how do you know you have that problem? Well, that's why this tool is very useful. So let's have a look at where to get this tool from and, and what, what we're looking at. So in the background here behind me is the GitHub page from, from my account, see the Jamie GAU, that's my GitHub login, and it's called Cinema and Map Scripts. And basically these scripts are used with the MMAP tool that's applicable to the cinema industry. Now who's going to use these scripts? Well, probably integrators or any cinema operator who wants to keep a track of what's going on there on their uh, projection network in terms of versions of equipment. Now, let's just go through it quickly. As you can see, there's a, it's quite an extensive readme here uh, of exactly how it works and how you, for example, can contribute to the scripts. Obviously, I've written these scripts and I've basically written scripts to, to equipment that I have access to, but I don't have access to everything. So I'm looking for people to try and help me by giving me access to their equipment to write these scripts for a small period of time. Um, you'll actually see at the top here a list of a lot of the equipment that has been Already, uh, already had scripts created for them. There's a few that are in development, like I'd like to get access to some Christie projectors, for example, and some more recent Dolby, uh, uh, not, Dolby um, not Dolby, I mean, um, the Barco Series 4 projectors is not around uh, here at the moment, so I haven't been able to get access to one to test against. Um, but if you go through, through the scripts here, it'll tell you how, how it all works, and there's classifications and other bits and pieces. And re really, some of the reasons uh, it's got all this extra data is so that uh, not only can you use the script um, by yourself to actually um, get a map of what's on your projection network, but it's expected that integrators and other vendors may adopt these scripts to add it to their own software um, so they can actually add um, features to their software to do this for you. For example, I'll just show you, uh, I've got my free Cinema Catcher tool, and I've already written for it based on these scripts, a tool to um, scan the network and basically pull back what's on your network. I'll go into that into another video uh, in, uh, after this one. But um, let's just quickly go through how you would use this. If you, if you wanted just to quickly map out your network, you know, and, and you know, how would you do that? Well, first of all, you want to actually get a copy of the repo. So you basically go up here, hit code, and you hit this button to copy the, the GitHub URL for that um, repo. You need to get to a, um, a Linux machine, right? So you can get NMAP for many operating systems, even Windows, but Linux is the most common and most suitable. That's where the native version for running these sort of tools. Okay, here we are in a just a Linux shell. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's just a good old Linux prompt here. Now, the first thing you need to, to, to do this, um, this is a, a Ubuntu or a Debian-based Linux. Uh, you may need to, to look up how to do this in other types of Linux, but you, you'd want to install um, sudo apt install, you want git, and you want nmap, right? Those two tools. Now, um, they've already installed, so nothing much happened. 
But once you've done you've done that, we want to um, get a copy of the Nmap scripts, the Cinema Nmap scripts. So you want git clone and uh, the copy from here. We want to clone that URL, so it's like you see here, and that will bring down the latest version of the Nmap scripts. So you can do an Alice now, you'll see they're in there. Now if we go back to the repo, to the GitHub page, and you go down here, you'll see uh, an example of how to run it. All right, so I'm just going to grab it up to here, because I'm going to enter my own IP address for a network. Whoops, I don't need that yet. So if I copy that into there and I to my support network I've got access to from this machine, um, um, actually uh, you can actually say 0 slash 24 which would basically mean anything in that C class subnet which is uh, uh, the first three numbers, any number here would uh, from 1 to 254, you could also type it 1 to 254 like that if you wanted to or you could just do a subset of I just want to do the first 20 or 30 IP addresses, right? So we'll do that now just to make this a little bit quicker. Um, and it's going off and scanning that. And if you if you push a button, it'll tell you the percentage full. It's nearly done already. Um, it's probably doing the um, the um, running the scripts on them now. And there you go. We've got a map back of all the IPs that it found, and obviously anything that was cinema based that it understood, that it's come back and told us what it was. So this is a uh, sound processor. Um, automation device, a sound device, a, a monitor, you've got the um, projector and up above you'll have the player, right? Which is basically me scanning the same as, as is seen in this here. So uh, this tool, which is a free tool, which I'll show in another video, um, you can do all this through a, a, a nice GUI and it comes back with a similar sort of information. Right, so there, yeah. So that will then give you uh, a, um, uh, a map of all the cinema detected equipment on there. It'll also map out other equipment like, um, uh, it'll detect other de devices on there which may not be cinema equipment like switches, IP cameras. Um, realistically, I'm, I'm, one of the reasons I'm making this video is to to ask people to, you know, to contribute to the to the list. If you've got a common set of equipment in your network that's used in project, projection industry, if you want to um, contact me and I can help you write a script or you could write it yourself and just submit it to me and I'll add it to the MAT script so it becomes more useful for you. But at the end of the day also, um, uh, the reason we're making these scripts and they're in the, in the public domain is because I'm hoping other vendors may adopt them and so they could add this sort of functionality where they can map out the, the projection network uh, and use it in their own tools to potentially make it better for for tracking and um, managing this sort of thing in your network. So if you have a TMS from a certain vendor, they could potentially adopt these tools to make it easier for them to, or for you to detect equipment. Um, this could feed into other tools like FL facility list management message and etc. Which, which a lot of the times, like on your D DCRF or digital cinema ready, um, readiness forms, you're supposed to put the versions of the equipment. And a lot of the times, that's sort of avoided or not done properly because either they don't know how to find the version or what actually is the version that people are looking at because sometimes the equipment has a plethora of different version numbers which one is the actual version number you're supposed to put and th there's other issues like this which makes it very hard for us to actually do that sort of version uh, monitoring of this sort of equipment and now as i said before with a lot more equipment coming online and the, the permutations of all the different types of equipment and the different versions mixes that are coming together having a good way to track what's going on um, with your equipment will be very useful. And in the next tool, I'll show you a, another free tool. I'll show you actually how there, there's a free tool you can get today, which can actually monitor this and actually warn you automatically if anything in your network changes in terms of firmware on your digital cinema equipment. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on um, some nice free and open source tools to help you manage your cinema and the reliability of your equipment. Anyway, that's James Gardner. Bye for now.